Well, good evening. Here we are. And uh, yeah, another Friday. I know it's a little bit later than normal, but hopefully that means that some of you might be able to join us that can't normally join the day. So hello and welcome. Hi. It's uh, it's lovely to have you with me. Of course, we've uh, just had a little bit of something to eat. I've just uh, snaffled down my dairy-free ice cream so Benji could have the bottom bit. And of course, he bites a little bit and then he leaves a bit for Seth as well. So it's all fair. So uh, everybody's happy and all settled downstairs and calm. So here we go then, tile 209. Whoa, what a day. What a week it's been. Of course, you know that the uh, the craft store has taken over Create and Craft and I did have my meeting over there today. And I just want to report that it's all been very positive. They're working really hard to make sure that you as customers don't sort of have a problem and don't see anything, you know, that's... Uh, could affect your viewing and things like that and from a suppliers and a demonstrator's point of view for me it's uh, business as usual and we're just going to have a bit of a transition yeah we're going to swap buildings as to where we're, we're going to be uh, you know working from but other than that everything's going to be as is um, there's still a few things that need ironing out and thinking about of course there's going to be a few little bits but bear with them they are, they are doing the best they can and they were very welcoming today, so it's really nice. So I did say I'd keep you informed. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to still be on Create and Craft on the 1st of February. And then you might see me on the craft store doing a few shows as well, sort of in between. And you might actually also see me working in collaboration with uh, another company who've, uh, who, who, you know, we've been having chats with. Of course, I currently buy some of my products from them and bring them to you, but just means that we can do the best for everybody so yeah yeah I'm feeling quite positive I'm actually not on the Prosecco yet maybe later but uh, yeah I'm feeling quite positive and hopefully I'm gonna have a, a good night's sleep tonight so yeah rest assured here we go then are we ready I'm gonna turn this over and I what I have done I've used one of the very pale lemon out of the sorbet and I've just inked it a little bit I've used some yellow and a little bit of pink in there and a touch of green, I think, is whatever I'd sort of got on my <laughs> on my dauber at the time. So what do we need tonight then? We need our regular pen. So I've got my 01. I've got my pencil. Uh, I've got my tortillon. And of course, I've got a ch white chalky pencil as well, just in just in case I need it. Might do. Um, see how we go with that. I do have, and you might want to if you've got it, <laughs> use the grid. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it without. So don't panic if you don't have it. It's not a problem. So are we ready then? I'm going to start. Whew, deep breath. Here we go. With a pencil. And I'm going to sort of find the sort of the centre-ish if I can. Now I'm going to mark my dots a little bit heavier than you perhaps want to do with yours. These are just guidelines. So you don't really need to, to see them afterwards. So... Here we go. Oh, thank you, Rose. It's lovely. Now, you're not going to lose me. I'm going to I'm not going anywhere. It's, uh, you know, it's just a different, it's a changeover. Everybody changes jobs now and again. And it's it's uh, for a good thing. So, yeah. All right. There we go. I've marked sort of the center. And then I'm going to come up and put another dot. Now, of course, if you've got your grid, just go ahead and draw your grid and just uh, bear with us for a little bit because it's going to be the same amount of dots. Okay. So I've done that one, I've done that one. Now, you see the space here? I'm going to sort of break it up a little bit and I'm going to give myself two dots. Okay, not really going to use the ones around the outside, but I'm going to put them in anyway. And then here, I'm going to break it up into two dots. Okay. So I'm going to turn it round. Still working from that centre dot and I'm going to put one at the top here and one at the bottom here. And then... I'm going to put two dots in between there and then two dots in between there. Okay. I'm going to do the same at the, the end here. So again, I'm just going to sort of line it up maybe. A dot there, see? And a dot there. And then two in between. So again, you can see I'm just sort of eyeing it up and marking this grid in. It's a little bit of a different way to what we'd normally do, but I just need the dots. Okay, and then if I turn it round, and the same again here, look a dot at the top, dot at the bottom, and then put sort of two in the middle, 
two in the middle. Okay, so you see that? We've got those dots in there. And if I then turn again, see I've already got my dot top and bottom. So I can put one there, one there, one there, one there. That one's already got them. So it's this one, I've got the top. So let's space that there and there. And then one there and one there, okay? So just sort of working in now, we need to put these dots in. So we're gonna have, see two there and two there. And the same here. So just sort of creating a grid. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots and seven dots. So from whichever way we sort of count them, that's where we, that's where we're at. Okay. And then this one here. Oh, hey, Shirley, well done. Second time. I'm glad you're here. It's great. We're going to have a, a little bit of a challenge one today. I thought we'd be up for it. I mean that grids have been on the menu. It would be, uh, it would be nice to have a go at that. So there you go. There's your grid. So you see, I've got seven dots. It doesn't matter which way I look. I've got seven going across the top. Seven going down the side, and then of course I've got all of them in between. As I say, just if you have got your your grid, I don't even know. See, some of them match up. That's not bad going. Look, I've got some matching there, but it doesn't matter. So if you've used your grid, that's fine. If not, that's what you've got by hand. It's fine. All right, we're ready for this then. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to start with that middle dot there. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to make it a bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. So there's that middle dot. So I'm going to create a cross going through the dot, turning it round and going through the dot. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, uh, Louise, yes, it was very positive. So um, it's just, uh, it's kind of nice. I just feel a little bit of relief now. So you see here, I've got a dot. It's going out a little bit so I can straighten it up. As long as it's about there, you see? And then I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to do the same again up here. And then I'm going to turn it round. <laughs> oh, Rose, no need for you to worry. It's fine. Surely I'm using an 01. You can use an 02 if you like, or an 03. I wouldn't go any bigger. It's going to be a little bit thick. There you go. Look, hang on. There you are, 01. Okay. Hey, Leslie. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> okay, so we've got this shape going on. All right. Are you ready for this next bit then? I'm going to do this nice and sort of slowly so you, you, you can sort of follow me along. I'm going to go from this point here along to this one. There we go, there's a diagonal, you see? All right, and then from this point here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go along, there's a diagonal, okay? And then I'm just going to join the top ends there, one to the other, so we've got that kind of a shape, okay? And then I'm going to turn it round. And then from this point, I'm going to come along diagonally to that point. And then this one, diagonally to that point. And then, of course, I'm just going to join the dots at the top there. Okay? Oh, Mal, why not just sketch it out then, you know, just with a pencil? You really don't have to worry about it that much. Sometimes it's, it's a bit scary to start with, but just give it a go. I think sometimes it helps to sketch it out and then maybe come back and do it afterwards. I know Joanna gave the Alpha night off. She, she's been really busy. And do you know what? It's been quite fraught this week over there. So, yeah, we're having a break. <laughs> and then along there. So let's have a quick look at the shape. There we go. It looks a bit weird, but there it is. We've got it. Okay. So while we're here, I'm going to start down this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to come down two dots. Okay. And then join it to form 
bit of a triangle. You see? And then turning it round, I'm going to come down two dots, one, two, and I'm going to create a triangle. Oh, Glennis, who said there were new pens? Who said? I never said anything. It was that bad elf behind me that was showing little hints of things. <laughs> Don't know if I can say. Okay, see, there's another triangle. I'm just going to join that. Okay, so we've got that kind of a shape. Again, it looks a bit weird, but bear with it. Okay. So let's have a look then at this sort of point here. So where we sort of did these triangles. So you see if I actually sort of draw it by, you know, just visually get an idea, you see where it's sort of going to go across? Yeah, oh no, Joe. It's a, but you know that that's the first sign that I did, it stands for a lot of things. So just that we remember it as that. And then here, see, I've got this one that's going to go Cross. You see, it looks like it's going under to this one. I know that's a bit wobbly. It's fine. Were there, Denise? That just could have been that we weren't tidy enough and we hadn't put them away yet. And again, see? So it's sort of going under. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, don't pick on the elf. All right. So remember when we've got this triangle and we've got this dot in the middle there, so we counted two down. I'm going to start with this dot and come to diagonal to this one. And then I can't I can't possibly say Sally. <laughs> there we go. And again, see I'm just gonna find the point there. So that was the middle section. I'm gonna draw one from here to here. And again, down to here. Okay. Do you know who you are? Goodness me, goodness. Yeah, you don't miss a thing, you guys. There you go. All right. <laughs> Pat, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing gets past you, I know. I know, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> okay. Turning it round. And then... Again, from this point along here, and then down to join there. All right, so far so good. Okay, so I'm going to now join the dots around the edge to create a border. So whether you want to come in with a tile, uh, whatever you want to do, whether you want to draw it, join the dots, or whether you want to, you know, use your your grid stencil to draw it in, it's whatever suits. I might do a second line. I could have come in with my four to do that, couldn't I? And then along again. Just going to make sure that they're straight. See, I'm just sort of lining up. You see the, the edge of the stencil. I just always line that up with my, my tile or whatever I'm working. So I'm, I'm getting a straight edge, you see? And then along we go. All right. Turning it round. No, I do like this. It's quite a nice uh, little shape, isn't it? Along there. And again, this one. And there. Along here. There we go. Alright, so we've sort of got that shape. I think while I'm at it, I'm going to create a smaller border. So see here now what, I'm, what I can do is I can actually, if I do it right, I can get in two edges at once. So I could line up this one and go along here and then down here. You see? And then sort of the same on this one if I turn it round. And line up, you know, the two sides again. Nice narrow sort of border. And draw this one. There we go. Down it goes. 
and this one. Let's have a look, see if it's joined, more or less. And of course those dots, you see there, I did them in pencil so I can actually remove them. I can rub them out at some point. What you thought of it, everything on my desk, except a rubber and where's my elf? <laughs> She's at home, so she can't run and fetch one for me. Sure it'll be fine. <laughs> There we go. So we've got this kind of a shape. It's, uh, there we go. Looks a little bit weird at the minute, but we've got a few more things that I want to do with it. So, okay, let's have a look then. I'm going to go a bit larger and focus on these triangles. See these ones here. So I'm going to come to this point at the top. I'm going to create a little bit of a curve. If I hold the pen right. And then I'm going to bring it down to the point there. And then... I'm going to put some little stripes on it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so then I'm going to turn it round. True, Leslie. <laughs> I'm sure I could manage. I probably know where it is anyway. It's, I know it's in my bag behind me because I, I have started organising things. There we go. But, you know, it's fine. Sometimes it's nice to leave the workings out there. I don't mind a few pencil dots on my page. <laughs> Sally, she's not allowed to use magic in public. That's what it is. <laughs> Creates too much dust anyway. It's, <laughs> it's not all it's rated to be, honestly. Flu powder. It's... No. There we go. Another curve there, and then I'm going to bring it down to a point there. And of course, I'm just going to bring in some real stripes. Okay. All right, so we've got something that looks kind of like that. Okay. So I'm going to come back in. I'm going to focus on these sort of shapes here. So we'll do one and then we'll move on to the next. Doesn't matter. Which one you start with? I'm going to start with this one because what I'm going to do is create a little box there. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to go from the point in the middle and I'm going to pull out and create a little curve. Well, curve rather a triangle shape. See, I've got a triangle there. So if I turn it round, I'm going to start here again, pulling out and creating that little triangle shape. <laughs> Turning it round again. Don't you believe that my Alf is hard done to? She's well treated. She's never harmed. Even though I threatened to, she's never harmed. <laughs> and then along. You see from this point now, I'm going to create that triangle again. Turn my tile. From that point, another triangle. So you see, I'm actually doing the same shape every time, following that point, working it round. And as much as you think, oh, it's quicker if you just sort of draw it and don't turn the tile, I think that it's perhaps a little bit better if you follow it along and turn it as you go. You, you sort of get a nice idea of where it's going. So I'm always starting from the point that I finished and then pulling out to create that little triangle. You see? There we go. Just sort of keep turning it. When you get to this point, it might be okay for you to work them in. If you feel that you've got the confidence to do that, just follow the pen, look at what you're doing. And just keep yourself going until you've got no space to fill. Okay? So remember we've got this little space here that sort of attaches it to, uh, to that square. So remember that we started with a shape we went from a point and pulled out. So you've got this lovely little shape here. So I'm going to start from this point here and do like a mirror image of it. You see? A mirror image. And then from there, I'll bring it round. There's the point I ended up. 
I'm going to bring a triangle this way. And then again, point here, triangle that way. And then again, triangle that way. So you see, even though it's not a square, it doesn't matter. You follow the same rules and you just keep working it round. So where you've finished, pull out. Where you've finished, pull out. Finish, pull out. Every single time. So you just keep doing what you're doing until you've got no more space. Okay, so you've got this really unusual kind of shape there. So let's move on to this next one. We've got this lovely shape again. So I'm going to create a box like I did before. Okay. And now let's have a look. We've got again this lovely little shape here. So I'm going to repeat this, but I'm going to start from the point and pull out. So I've got a mirror image of those two shapes that I did. And then repeat as before. This way. And then this way. See, so I'm not going to turn my tile as much. Because I think you've sort of got the hang of it now. And I don't want to make you too dizzy. Okay, you see I'm following exactly the same thing, just sort of keeping it going all the way along. Now, the idea is take your time with this and just really enjoy seeing that little space get smaller and smaller as you work your way round. There we go, you see now you've got like a lovely mirror image. Okay, what about this bit then here? So we've got this lovely shape here. So I'm going to do another mirror image. So I'm going to start from here and pull out. So you see, I've got that lovely shape. And then from this one along, from this before. Now you see, I'm not turning my tile anymore, but I, I do encourage you to do that because it does make for a, a slightly easier ride <laughs> creating this lovely tango. There we go. So just sort of following it along. There we go. So you run out of space. Okay, so I've got sort of this kind of odd shape going on there. Okay, so let's sort of have a look at this one here. And again, let's take that box. So let's have a look at it. And again, this uh, this one here. So I'm going to start at this point and pull out. So again, look, you can see I've got like a mirror image. And then along. And I'm going to just follow on as before. Just sort of working that shape around. There we go. Just sort of bit by bit following it through. It's going to create quite an image in the middle, isn't it? This. So just sort of keep it going. Nothing matters but that last little triangle there. Okay. And I see we've got the piece coming off going this way. Let's have a look what I was doing there. Yeah, this one. Remember, look, if you look at this one, you see it's underneath that flat. It's underneath that curl. So it's this one. Okay, so just sort of keep a check. Uh, Re, no, it didn't start with a new stencil. You can use the new stencil if you want to create the grid, but I, I did do it by eye, by hand, so you don't need it. Just, uh, we just went through it without, so. Okay. So, same here. I'm going to come down here with a box. And then again, just as before, see, I've got sort of a, a mirror image thing going on there. You see, I'm just working it that way. And then follow it through, just as before. So, we're going to have this kind of fun shape in the middle 
And of course, if you've not done a mirror image, it doesn't matter. It's just going to look a little bit different to this. So I don't want you to see it and think, oh my goodness, what have I done? You do get two different designs with this one, depending on whether you do a mirror image or not. So don't panic. It's absolutely fine. Okay. And then I'm going to use, you see here? <laughs> yeah, the staircase at Harry Potter. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, all the others, look, I've done it next to this sort of curl. So it's going to, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to pull out. And the same as before. Now, if you've chosen the other side to do, it doesn't matter. Just sort of fill it in as I'm doing at the minute. So, no mistakes, it's not a problem if you've done a different uh, part of the shape. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Okay, look at that. Yeah, so there's little fan shapes in there. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, ready for the next bit then? So let's have a look. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come into these little shapes here. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, create a bit of a aura just on those inside lines there. You see, and then one along here. Make it round, like so, and then one on this one. Turning it round. There we go. And of course, same with this one. Along. And then into that bit there. Okay. Let's do another one of those. So just on the inside again, another little aura. From one to the other. You see, it sort of goes underneath. And then along, and then back in, and then along, and just keep following, it goes underneath. Of course, if you would rather use a straight edge for this, that's absolutely fine, because we've done all this by sort of eye eye. And then I'm going to start with a bubble on the top there. Got our bubbles in there. And then that means that we can follow one side. You see, I'm just working it down those edges. And then to the other side. And just sort of keeping it going. If you only get half of one at the bottom there, that's fine. It just shows that it's going underneath. You don't have to try and gauge to get them all even. See how it sort of goes. Along here. Okay. See, this that one's going to be like a half of one going underneath there. And then uh, starting at the top, that gives me a little bit of uniformity as I work my way around. And along. And there. Uh, I'm just keeping it going. There we go. Of course. Last side there, just bring that in. And then just keep it going, you know, and then to the other side. Oh, Nadia, that's okay. You can watch back later. I think you do need to watch the beginning of this one because of how we created the first shape. So you'll be fine once you get going with it. Okay, so this is sort of where we're at at the minute. Gonna uh, let's have a look. I think I'm gonna. I kind of like that as it is. I, I'm gonna come back to that in a, in a short while. I'm gonna have a look at this outer shape here. I think I'm just gonna aura the inside there. There we go. So just sort of follow it round, one side to the other, and then down. There we go. Sally, is that a good thing? I wouldn't knock it then, it'd be fine. So, uh, we just have to hope uh, John doesn't set the dogs off. <laughs> but I say they've been fed, so they're all happy. They're going to get rotten tomorrow because my mum's coming, so they'll be 
fussed to death. And of course, when she goes, they just lie there all night. You have to say they've had a hard day. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, the next bit. See, I've got my hands not quite joined. Now, of course, when you get to this point, you can actually, uh, you can choose what design or what tangle you put around in these areas. Now, if you wanted to, you could use this for the tile swap and you could add the uh, the tile swap tangle within these if you want to. But you don't have to. Absolutely not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of swap colours, actually, just, just because I can, because it's here. I'm going to come in with my orangey micron pen. It's just a regular, regular micron, another 01. And I'm just going to come on in and I'm just going to create some little swirls. Now, of course, you can still do this with a black. It really doesn't matter. And honestly, I know I didn't mention it at the beginning, but just being that it sat there on my desk, I thought, let's let's use it. So, not to worry. Now, this would look kind of nice with a grey pen as well. But, um, they're all tinily stacked away behind me. But the orange one, of course, is out and about, so that's the one I've gone for. Sometimes it's quite nice just to swap up colours. We've not done that for a while. So, uh, yeah, you've, I'm sure you've got all, all got lovely different coloured fine liners that you can uh, bring in and use. There you go. I know with having that ink in the background, it's not as sort of in your face, is it? It's a little bit more subdued. So it's quite nice to uh, just sort of follow it on. <laughs> they do do some nice colours, actually. I think their uh, their burgundy is quite nice. And I know Leslie likes the brown. I know they do a sepia and a brown. They can make them work quite nice. They do um, a blue black as well. That's uh, that's nice as well. But, um, whatever works it doesn't have to be a different colour. Just uh, decided. I made the decision there and then, and it's my tile, so I can do what I like. See, just keeping it going. Each one going under the other. Absolutely no rush with this. But nowhere else to be. Plus, that means I'm getting out of the dishes. <laughs> and where uh, John's doing them downstairs. There we are. Uh, Shirley, I don't sell the coloured micron pens. I I do do some fine liner pens, um, different colours, but you might, dare I say, you might want to wait just a little bit longer. Maybe if you really need one, you get yourself on the on a website and just just buy one colour. But honestly, wait just a little bit longer. I don't say any more. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just a little bit different, isn't it? There we go. You see, just sort of adding in there. Oh, Rose, but have I told you the whole story? Maybe not. <laughs> Can't be saying. I do like to tease because honestly, would you really want to know everything that's coming up? Or would you rather just wait and have the surprise? Well, that's part of the fun. And of course, you know, you've, you've only just had the tile topper stencil, so you've got a lot of, lot of time to play with that before February the 1st. So, uh, yeah. Now at this point, because of course doing swirls, you can sort of find that your hand starts to ache a little bit. Just relax it a little bit. <laughs> I need to save up. <laughs> oh. 
I honestly, I always try and bring you the best prices I can. So you don't have to save completely. It'll be fine. All right. Okay. So it just sort of changes things a bit, doesn't it? Having the colour. There we go. It's just nice to work with that fine line, isn't it? As well, I know. You get some that is quite nice, isn't it? Okay. That's uh, nice to do. Of course, if you've got your bronzer, you can, you can always use the other end because I know you've got a brush end on one. And you've got your, your fibre tip kind of thing on the other, so. They work quite nice. Of course, they are they are water based. I know, but so be careful. Don't put any water on with them. Okay. It's kind of nice just to sort of chill out, you know, and have have a session of an evening now and again. Because uh, it's a little bit more relaxed. Not that we're not relaxed in the afternoon, but it's quite nice, isn't it? And you could fill this with bubbles. You could have done another grid. You could have created something really crazy and random. You could have filled it with all sorts of organic shapes and styles. <laughs> and there, there you go. I think I'm missing some of the uh, messages here. Is Leslie picking on me? It's nothing new. That's when her and John get together. They bully me. <laughs> they don't really. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look. All right. Let's just sort of move that down. Oh, look at that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Getting a bit of something going on there. But of course, we've got a couple of spaces. I want to leave a couple blank, but I don't want to sort of, you know, leave all of them. So let's have a look here what we're going to do. I think um, I'm going to choose one of these spaces. Uh, do I go back to my black pen or do I stick with my, my colour? I'm probably I'm going to go back to my black pen here. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm just going to go a little bit larger. Ooh, if I can. There we go. So I'm just going uh, to create like um, a little sort of, let's have a look. Let's do a little curve shape here and do an aura. And then a little curve shape and an aura. And then this way, curve and an aura. And just sort of keep it going. Curve and an aura. And again. And I'll get another one in. There you go. I think I'm going to put a little line with a dot as well. You see just at the point where they're coming out, that one's sort of going to come there. Just sort of little higgledy-piggledy kind of shapes there. And then let's turn it around. It's a little bit different this one, isn't it? So it's, it's, when you think we started from a grid, we, we, we've still got the grid there, but it's it's got a little bit for everybody, I think, this one. A little bit of grid, a little bit of organic but in a structured way. There we go. Again, if I just come on in and bring those little dots in. Again, just following the sort of line as we go. And around. Same again. And again, you could have done this in a different colour. I, I chose to come back to the black pen. Well, whatever works. One more, and then a little line and a dot. There we go. Just sort of see, pulling them out and adding that little line and makes all the difference. There we go, one in there. And one more. Oh, that's okay, Shirley. You can catch up and finish it later whenever it's not going anywhere. 
Thank you for joining us. All right, you can see, just sort of working with these little aura shapes. So it's quite busy when you think about it. So it's always worth when you're doing a tile just to look at that and think about how you can balance it. So yes, we could add more tangles in here, but it's perhaps nice to have some that have got no, no tangles. It just gives it that little bit of a break, I think. So here we go. I'm going to come in now with pencil. I even sharpened it, look, all by myself. <laughs> and I'm going to start the points. And just add a little bit of pencil in there. So, of course, same on this side. On that one. And on that one there. Okay. So, let's have a look at these side ones while we're at it. See, I've got a little bit there. Always working from that sort of bottom point. Okay. There we are. See, so just sort of. Looking for those, so I'm going to, I could fill that one, I could do that one, yeah I will. Just looking for those points each time. So now the decision is, do I want to colour in those stripes or do I want to leave them as they are? Do we think it needs a little bit of drama or do I leave it? Let's have a, let's have a quick look before I put any pencil on it. See we do usually do that, don't we? I think I'll, I'll do it. So you can see what it looks like and then you can make a decision as to whether you want to or not. So here we go, I'm using my, oh there you go, look, my number four. Just because it's a little bit thicker, you could use the brush. Oh there we are. Okay. And then I'm going to work on the top again. I, I don't know if it's got the same amount of stripes, but I figure that if I work from the top... There aren't the same amount, you're not going to notice at the bottom. <laughs> there we go. All right. And just sort of, you know, working it out. So, of course, you can decide if you want to fill them in or not, if you want to leave them blank. But, uh, it's sort of made them a, a little more prominent, hasn't it? So back to my pencil. I think actually I'm going to sort of work with my, my torchy on here. And I'm just going to soften the edges of these. I think we'll do bits as we're going. Okay, now I'm just going to soften it enough so it, it blends out. But it's still leaving some of the original tile there. I don't want to lose all of that. I want to just you know, have a little bit of blending in there. See, just uh, working it round bit by bit. You see, just no rush with this. Just sort of enjoy bringing it to life. And of course, if it's not dark enough, you want a bit more, you can always go back in and put some more pencil over. So, not a problem. Of course, if you've missed any, you can add some pencil just try it with your torchy on there'll, there'll be plenty of graphite on there okay so we've got that all right so back with the pencil and uh, i'm just gonna add a little bit just to that inside they're quite narrow so we can't do a massive amount so i'm just gonna choose to do one side and then, of course, same on the other. There you go. Okay. So then looking at our triangle here, I'm going to just add some pencil to the other side of that little stripe there. Other side. Turn it round. And just give it a little bit of darkness. And same there. All right, let's just have a quick look at that. Okay, we'll come back and shade that in a minute. So this one here, I'm just going to add some here and here. 
Now again, you can experiment and you can try different ways of adding your shading. There's no right or wrong. This is just my version for tonight. So it's whatever you want to do, okay? And then here, I'm going to add a little bit to the top there and a little bit to the bottom. A little bit to the top. A little bit to the bottom, to the top and the bottom, and then the top and then the bottom, okay? So whilst we've got pencil in hand, I'm then going to come around the outside here and I'm going to add some pencil all the way around that shape. Same there. So I'm completely ignoring what's underneath it. It's just adding some around the shape there. And again, it doesn't have to be completely neat. It's fine. You just want to get a little bit of the graphite in. Okay, same with this one. There we go. And along here and of course all right let's get our torch on in i'm just going to soften the edge there just a little bit now louise i have no idea what john's doing he's probably downstairs on his ipad i know he's got a bit of tv on but um yeah I know, and he'll, he'll have a Prosecco ready for me in a short while. I think I might to go and have a bath after this and just chill for a little bit. And then, of course, it's <laughs> on to the next. I did actually do my tile swap yesterday while I was uh, in the studio. So I've just got a little bit of, just a little bit of shading to add to it. And then that's sort of almost done, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to do these while I'm here. Look, just going to soften that side. And the same this side. And, of course, the same on these. Okay, so I can do both of those at the same time. Of course, Ray, just one glass. <laughs> no, you make it sound like I'm an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. But it does taste nice. <laughs> okay, around we go. And uh, you see, just sort of nice and gentle. I'm trying to leave a little bit in the middle of that original tile colour, if I can. So, last one. It's starting to come together now, isn't it? We're not far off done. It's a little bit of a longer tile, but we're still within our time, so... Okay, and of course, let's uh, take it round. I'm just going to uh, soften it off as I go round. There we go. See, so it's, you know, just adds a little bit of light pressure, I'd say. Just want a little bit of definition there. There we go, I'm just going in and making sure I've got the corners. Oh, it does dull the edge. No, it does, doesn't it? It looks like there's a little bit of paper folding going on over there. You don't really see it fully until you actually start to add all the shadows in. We've, uh, we've almost got them all. We're going to go back in and add one or two more bits. But, uh, it's nice sometimes, I think, just to build it up. And then you can see if you think that you need any more. Or if you think that enough is enough and you've got enough graphite on there, it's, it's worth looking at. See, see I, I sometimes work in circles, it breaks it up and then you can soften around it with a straighter application of the tortillon. There we go. See, see, working like that just sort of breaks it up a bit. There we go. 
Wrong we go. So now you're looking at it real close up here. So, you know, sort of have a look at your own as to where the shading's happened. And uh, you want to try and leave a little bit of that if you can. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's have a look at that. There we are, see, look at the difference that's made. It's crazy. So there we go, just a little bit more there. There we are. All right, so I just want to bring that pencil back in. You see where we've got this little row of bubbles here? You see the section next to it? I'm just going to bring a bit of pencil in either side there. So of course, the same on all sides. Just sort of turn it as you go. I think you've got to keep it in the same place. Okay, and uh, this one here, there we go, there, and there. And then torchy on again, just sort of pull it up that shape a little bit. Same on this one. Okay. And then into this one. bring some here you know that's that means I don't have to rub the dots out because you're not going to see them now with adding some pencil around the side yeah. oh Bonnie you're welcome thank you it's it's a nice little creation isn't it you know it's just because I've been playing with those grids this week it's I thought it'd be nice just to sort of see how creative we can be with one and you can of course you can create any any grid or any shape you like, it just means that you've got the